Hey, what's up everybody? The Amazing here, giving you a look at a custom Bane that I made from Storm Collectibles Hulk Hogan. It was Ringside Collectibles exclusive, and the reason why I got it, because I saw Sean Tats and I saw Dallas do it, and I was blown away, and I was like, wait, I could do this, and it gave me my first chance to actually try out uh, painting on my own, and I'm actually not terrible at it. And so that was pretty cool, and uh, it was a very nice experience to have. Uh, what you do is you pretty much, you get the Storm Collectibles Hogan, you take everything off, you take off the paddings on the knees, you put on clothing, and uh, I got this Bane kit, conversion kit, from uh, Doormat Dials, I'll put the info in the caption, uh, so I got it from Doormat Dials off of eBay, I'll also put the, e the eBay information, and um, <clears throat> basically, uh, you get the head, you get the Venom tube, the piece to attach to the arm, you're going to have to glue this piece on, and you get a belt, he actually is sending me another belt, so I'm going to try that one as well, but you also get the conversion cloth. So after taking it down and stripping down the uh, Hulk Hogan, you pretty much are going to have to paint your leggings, his boots, because they have the Hogan sign all over it. I still have to give it one more coat, but I think it looks pretty decent for a guy who tried painting for his first time. Obviously, uh, I'm not the best painter in the world, so I tried, and it came out okay to me. It actually works really well in photos, but <clears throat> I really like how this came out. It really is a nice Bane. It's nice because I don't have the old uh, DC uh, Direct one. Not DC Direct, sorry. The DC Comics Collectibles one, which I believe is really old at this point, and it goes for crazy money. So it was nice to get this conversion done. It's, uh, it adds posability. It adds an updated yet uh, classic look to it, and I really like it. Uh. So as far as articulation goes, if you have ever had a Storm Collectibles figure, you kind of already know what you're getting into. And the Hulk Hogan is actually a really great and poseable figure. So it's pretty cool to be able to have a Bane that can uh, hold and break his opponent, as you would say. And the reason why I attached it here on the white piece is strictly because I wanted his hand to still have enough uh, free movement to move around. So I'm really happy. Uh, also, I didn't glue my tube in because, you know, you may want it to come out or you may want to readjust it. So I just could, you could just convert it and put it in there. You actually get the butterfly joint, so you actually get a nice range of motion as well as a, a very good looking Bane. I didn't actually uh, tighten my belt either because I want it to look as flowing as possible. But as you can see here, you can really look like you could do a lot of damage with this Bane. Because as I'm posing it now, you can get a great range. I want to convert the belt a little more, but... I actually have a new one coming, so I'm going to hold out. But he has great ankle pivot. Toe pivot as well. Oop. I think I painted it a little too rough. <laughs> so it still has a lot of work to go through, but I'm very happy with what I have already. So I'm going to try to get as many photos as I can get out of it to enjoy it. Maybe I'll uh, thin out those feet a little so I can get that extra toe pivot. The head can look up and look down. I'm really happy with this. And the reason why I'm so proud and so happy with it is because, again, it's my first time, like, really legit painting something on my own. And I'm not talking about, like, black washing. I, like, painted it on my own with the encouragement of my man uh, Round Muscles in Dallas. So, and Adam, and I appreciate you guys. Thank you. you gave me an encouragement to go and paint it. Also, I've had the free time because I've been uh, taking some time off. So, it's really cool. Real quick, I'm going to show them in size comparison with some other lines like I always do. And the reason why is because as Bane is supposed to be a very much... Uh, he varies side to sides, depending on who's drawing him. So height-wise, it's a little different, but he should always be a little bit bigger than Batman, always, right? That's what we always know about Bane, consistency-wise. Even in height-wise in the comics and size-wise, we always talk about stuff like that. But let's be honest, it, he's always drawn a little bit bigger than Batman. So like I said, I didn't tighten my belt because I'm going to be changing it to a different one. So that's going to ride up a little. That's fine. So real quick, we're going to compare him to other lines. Here he is next to an SH Figots, Kamen Rider Build Rabbit Tank. He pretty much towers over this guy, and that's fine. That's what you expect. He is a Storm Collectibles figure with Mezco-style clothing. Here he is next to a 1000 Toys Synthetic Human Carb. Shout out to 1000 Toys, too, because uh, this guy's always extremely nice to me, and I appreciate you guys. So here he is next to the Carb, which, again, is around the same size as uh, the Rabbit Tank SHF. Pretty cool. Here he is next to an Articulated Icons Ninja with a custom Snake Eyes head by Glassman Customs. Still towering over him, you know, just taking him out one by one. 
Here he is going to be next to a, another Storm Collectibles figure. So his size should be somewhere in the same scale, but not around the exact. And even he's still bigger than the ninjas, which is pretty dope. That means Storm is not always, you know, that, that 1 12th scale people talk about. It's more like a 1 10th scale. But it really works when you're comparing them to other lines. Here he is next to a Marvel Legends Black Panther. Here he is next to a Marvel Legends bigger character, which are the Hydra Super Soldiers, I would say. And they're closer to a size that they can vary. And I know people thought about using him too, like for both crossbones too. And I'm pretty sure you can convert the Hogan into a crossbones as well. I've seen a few people do that. Shout out to Atlanta too and Dallas for showing me those too. Here he is next to Deathstroke from Mezco. So as you can see, like build and body wise, they actually work really well in height comparison. Here he is next to the Extended Knight, the Toy Fair one. So you can see what he's like next to a Batman from Mezco. And he's bigger, not much bigger, but big enough to show that he's realistically a guy who can like tower up and Batman may or may not fear. Here he is next to an SHF Batman. The reason why I use him is because in case you want to do those super proportions where Bane is towering over him, here you have it. So since Hogan doesn't come with many other accessories after you convert him, you pretty much just get open palms as well. But overall, I'm really happy with it. I still got to tweak a little bit more work on him, but happy where I'm going with. Uh, I'm going to take some pictures of it, but it won't be the final last shots. I don't know if I'm going to even like them, but I'm going to try to make you guys proud and happy. In the meantime, guys, thank you for watching me jibber jabber on. I appreciate it. Uh, thank you for always watching. Thank you for being patient because I'm still on break. But I'm enjoying uploading just casual things, taking my time. In the meantime, do good, be good, drink all the water, guys. Later.